Good evening everyone. Thank you so much for joining me for this video. Tonight I'm hoping to take some pictures of the moon. I really enjoy doing this. I'm still very much a novice. I've only been doing this for about a month. I have a 300mm lens that I'm going to be using which will hopefully get me a reasonable picture of the moon. I was hoping to make this video yesterday when we had a full moon. It was super overcast, so we've got a slightly waning gibbous, but it should still give us a beautiful picture. Let's head outside and give it a go. Okay, so I'm out here now. There's a couple of bits of equipment that I like to use to do this. So I've got my DSLR, I've got my 300 millimeter lens on it, and I've got a tripod. And this is to keep it as steady as I can. For me, I also like to use a remote shutter. It just means that I'm not causing the camera to vibrate, especially when you start messing around with like how long the shutter's open for. You know, you can get a blurry picture if you're pressing it. So I'm gonna try and avoid that by using uh, my phone as a remote shutter. And we're gonna see if we can get some good pictures of the moon. I'm also setting the lens on manual focus because the camera doesn't really know what to focus on and I want to get a really nice clear picture of the moon. Okay, I've focused it up and uh, we're ready to go. So let's take a picture of the moon. Oh, that's pretty nice. But you'll notice that on the moon there are different colours. It's all pretty well grey but some parts of it are much darker than others. Why are there these dark spots on the moon? Why does the moon have dark spots? If you look up at the moon, you will notice that there are darker sections. And actually, if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, when you look at the moon, it's going to look a bit like this. In the Northern Hemisphere, the moon is upside down when compared to the Southern Hemisphere. And most pictures of the moon that you Google will show this. But I'm in Australia, and this is the moon that I can see. Most of the dark spots are towards the bottom of the moon, from my perspective. It's just because we're in different sides of the planet looking up. But what causes these dark spots? Funnily enough, we have names for them, but the names are wrong. A dark spot on the moon is called a mare. The plural is Maria. Mare is a Latin term meaning sea because scientists in the 17th century thought that they could have been seas, as in full of water. That turned out not to be the case, but the name stuck. Earlier in the moon's history, we think that asteroid impacts and other events such as these created the big craters on the surface of the moon. As the moon doesn't have an atmosphere, dents tend to stick around as there isn't any wind to erode them. In fact, astronaut footprints and buggy tracks are still on the moon, even though they were made over 50 years ago. They'll be there until something else causes them to move on, such as impacts from other things from space or moonquakes, tremors which do happen from time to time on the moon. The moon has quite an active history in terms of lava at least. The moons Maria have their dark colours because of ancient lava flows which flowed into the low-lying basins turning to basalt. This is similar to Earth because most of Earth's oceanic crust is made up of basalt too and we also use basalt. Some stones sold as bluestone are actually basalt so there are some buildings that are made up of the same kind of rock that the dark patches of the moon are. That's pretty cool. Basalt contrasts quite well with the other main rock that we can see on the moon, the higher areas of elevation, not the Maria, but the mountains and plains and such. They're made up of a lighter coloured anorthosite. The funny thing is with these main rocks, basalt and anorthosite, is that neither are especially bright when a light's shone on them, yet the moon appears to be super bright in the night sky. In fact, it actually couldn't be much less reflective. Albedo is the term for how much radiation a material reflects. Zero is not at all reflective, it reflects nothing, and one is perfectly reflective, meaning it reflects everything. A perfect mirror would have an albedo of one, and a black hole would have an albedo of zero. The Earth, when viewed from space, has an albedo of about 0.3, so 30% of light reflects off the Earth. The moon is much darker. It fluctuates a little depending on where it is in the lunar cycle, but it's generally around 0.1, meaning it reflects about 10% of light, which is comparable to asphalt. But when you compare that to the vacuum of space, which doesn't reflect a lot of light back to Earth, it looks pretty bright. So the dark spots on the moon are the Maria, caused by ancient lava flows into the lower lowing regions of the moon, which formed basalt, which is a darker colour than the higher regions. That's pretty cool. 
If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to give it a like and leave a comment below. As always, you can find the resources I use when making this video in the linked document in the description. And if you'd like to see more videos about things that inspire in me a sense of curiosity and wonder, please consider subscribing to That's Pretty Cool. Thanks for watching, take care, stay curious, and I'll see you next time.